Jesus explains the coming invasion of demon aliens and the power in my name Jesus. These are things I never ever wanted to talk with you about, yet they are inevitable. There will be events of such magnitude that the whole world will be paralyzed in wonder and fear. Yes, even to the point where some hearts will stop beating. Jesus, this is more horrible than anything I can imagine except hell. Yes, a literal hell on earth. There is much I want to tell you, but you must give me time, a lot of time. This is a start, but I need more time from you, Claire. That is why I've been trying to draw you away from the affairs of the world, so I could speak to you of these things and prepare the hearts that must go through this. This will be a time of unparalleled desperation as people reach for their guns and find out they do not work against these monsters for the most part. Beloved, these are some of the things you must leave behind for your children to use when the time comes. Those who embrace me, in spirit and in truth, will be given this power over the demon aliens. And as I've told you before, there is no such thing as a good alien. They are all demons disguised in various roles to trick people into trusting them. You cannot trust them. Even the softest speaking and gentle ones are raging monsters on the inside, which will devour you at their earliest convenience. They will only remain friendly to draw others into their net. Then, when you go missing, they will make up some story that you left to go on an errand. But those who ask will become their next meal. Do not under any circumstances receive these demon aliens into your homes or associate with them in any way other than to invoke my name and send them running. The groundwork has been laid in this world for the present generations to be atheists, so of course they will not embrace me or use the power of my name until they have realized who I am and received me as their savior. So I'm telling you this now to prepare others. But your days must be filled with prayer and listening. This is a skill I will help them develop. It entails shutting down the internal dialogue and reaching out to my presence, which is always with you. Do not under any circumstances receive these demon aliens into your homes or associate with them in any way other than to invoke my name and send them running. The groundwork has been laid in this world for the present generations to be atheists, so of course they will not embrace me or use the power of my name until they have realized who I am and received me as their savior. So I'm telling you this now to prepare others. But your days must be filled with prayer and listening. This is a skill I will help them develop. It entails shutting down the internal dialogue and reaching out to my presence, which is always with you.